Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com and in this video I'm going to deal with a problem that every single hockey player has and that's stinky hockey equipment. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is how you can prevent your hockey equipment from stinking. So there's things you can do during the game, uh, stuff you can do after the game to prevent your hockey equipment from starting to stink and then talking about what you can do after your hockey equipment actually does stink. Because no matter what you do, eventually you get some type of stink in that hockey equipment. So I'll talk about how you can get it out. So let's get right to it. My first tip is to create a layer between you and your hockey equipment. I didn't even notice that this worked until I started using an Under Armour uh, layer, which my mom bought me for Christmas a few years ago. And it actually works really good. So this is a long sleeve one. Uh, they also have short sleeve and no sleeves. And they also have uh, layers that you can use for your upper body and lower body. So I just use the upper body one, but uh, with the long sleeve, it creates a layer between your body and the elbow pads. And if you wear shoulder pads, also between you and the shoulder pads. So what that does is it absorbs a lot of the sweat and kind of wicks it away from your body and then helps it absorb easier. So it's not all going into your equipment. So your equipment's not gonna get soaked, it'll still get moist, but not as wet if you create a layer. And this also helps create a layer so uh, your oils and dead skin cells, stuff like that doesn't go into the hockey equipment because bacteria feeds off that and it's bacteria that makes your hockey equipment stink. So a layer between you and your hockey equipment. I also have compression shorts that I wear. You can get a um, base layer or a full layer. So it covers head to toe, everything. Uh, creates a complete separation layer between your body and the hockey equipment. So that's one tip is to create a layer, helps uh, soak up the sweat, absorb it, and it's also really comfortable to wear in uh, cold hockey arenas. So if you play in a really cold rink, definitely wear one of these. I always do in the coldest rinks and I have a short sleeve for the warmer rinks. So a uh, really good tip is to create a layer between you and your hockey equipment. Tip number two comes when you're putting your stuff away after your game. So this is right when you're in the dressing room. Uh, just a few little tips here. So usually what's wettest with me is my elbow pads that get a bit moist, not that bad. My shin pads are usually really wet. Uh, also, all my Under Armour stuff. So Under Armour, jock, compression shorts, and socks. So these are little thin socks that I wear. So what I do is I take all of these and I put them in the side pocket. And I'm doing that because I'm going to take them and air them out later, which is the biggest tip that I can give you guys is to air your stuff out. So right now I'm putting them in a side pocket and that's just for easy access so I don't have to dig through all my bag. Because all it takes is one really stinky wet sock that you forgot and left in your bag and that's going to sit there and fester and a week later your entire gear stinks. So uh, I put all the stuff that I'm going to air out later in the side pocket. It really helps if you have a breathable bag, so maybe a breathable side pocket that you can put all your wet stuff in. Uh, then I usually put in my uh, pants and other stuff like that. What I like to do is take my shin pads and put them on top just so they kind of air out a bit more so they're not stuffed right at the bottom. So I'll put my shin pads on top and if I can I like to leave my hockey skates so they're kind of poking out as well so they get a bit of air on the top. Uh, usually I don't zip my bag up all the way uh, just to let it air out a bit on the ride home. So next thing is once you get home, so let's go take a look at that. This is the back room where I store my hockey equipment when I'm not playing, and this is the biggest tip of them all, and it's to air your hockey equipment out when you're not playing. If you leave it in there wet, it's going to stink, and that's the all there is to it. You have to air the stuff out, especially if it's wet. So here is the pocket where I've stored all the stuff uh, when I play. So I take all this stuff, and I hang it up on this nifty little thing right here. So it's got a whole bunch of hooks. It's uh, got this breathable material on the back. So you throw the Under Armour up there, you can take the uh, jock, toss it up there, uh, socks, jerseys, towel, all that stuff, and it's all going to air out nicely. And then before I play, I just grab it all off there and toss it back in there. Uh, so with the shin pads right here, I usually just chuck them right there. So another option uh, besides this, this is called the Gear Monkey, by the way. I'll link to their website in the article. So another option is uh, to grab some of these shelving units like this. I have mine filled with tools and other various items. So I elected to have this because it doesn't take much, up much space. Just hang it right along the wall. So I toss my shin pads right there, let them air out. Uh, pants I usually leave in there. Skates I usually don't take them out. Uh, elbow pads I will if they're really wet. I'll just t t toss them there. I'll hang them up uh, on here. So there you go, just like that. And with the skates, I usually just point them out like that. And if you have really uh, stinky hockey skates, I'll deal with that problem in just a minute. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. If you have anything that stinks, take it out of your bag, put it right there, and hang it up. And it's all ready to go. Next time you want to play, you grab it all, it's all dry, toss it back in your bag, you're ready to go. And you won't forget anything that way because uh, sometimes if you take it all out and sprawl it all over the floor, you'll forget something and you get to the game and you don't have it. So uh, I'm going to also deal with stinky hockey gloves and stinky hockey skates. But first, 
Alright, let's talk about what happens when your stuff starts to stink. Which mine has, so we're going to deal with that right now. So this is it. This is the big secret. When your gear really, really stinks, wash it. And that's the only thing there is to it. Uh, don't worry about it breaking or falling apart or anything like that. There's a few tips that I'm going to give you throughout this little clip. Uh, but basically, you can wash all your gear. So tip number one, when you're washing your jock, take the cup out. And also, uh, a lot of people use these little Velcro jocks, so I really like them. Just sticks to your socks, the Velcro stuff. So close all these little Velcro things. So that's, uh, usually have it open when you're putting your socks on. So close all those. If you don't close all the little Velcro things on there, then you're going to end up with a hockey equipment nest. Because uh, it's going to stick to everything and get all wrapped up. So chuck that in there. Shin pads. They go in there. So these shin pads, I've been using these for since I played minor hockey, so probably over 10 years, I've had the exact same shin pads. I've used them tons of times, playing hockey, games, practices, put them in a top loader, put them in a front loader, no problem. Shin pads, they can go in there, don't worry. About it. Uh, elbow pads, they go in there. Gloves, they go in there. No problem with any of that stuff. Uh, using the dryer, that's another thing, so that's another tip I'll get to. Coming to hockey pants. Uh, here it brings me to a point is don't use bleach. I used bleach one time uh, probably I think two years ago and I had already been using the same hockey pants for about 10 years and they had some rips and stuff in them but I think that the bleach started eating away at the foam. I just used it once but the next time I played I saw little bits of foam coming out of my hockey pants all over the ice so that was a bit embarrassing. I think it's because the bleach started to deteriorate. It uh, had some kind of weird chemical reaction or something. So don't use bleach. That's a good tip there. Uh, also with the front loading wash machines, or the top loading ones, the ones that open from the top, you want to have an equal low, balanced load. So the hockey pants are kind of like a uh, big bulky thing. Try to fit them to the side and then fit everything around so you have a nice balanced load. Basically for these ones here, you can stuff everything in there. Get that going in there. And then uh, you can put basically everything else in there except for your skates and your helmet. I'll deal with the skates uh, a little later on in this video. So, everything else, all these jerseys, they're absorbing stink and smell, you throw them all in there. Uh, yeah, everything. Remember all this stuff, uh, Under Armour, pants, socks, all that stuff goes in there. Another tip, if your stuff really, really smells, if you have a terrible odor, fill it up with cold water first, let it soak for a few hours, drain it, and then wash it. So you're getting rid of all that really bad odor, the stuff that's easy to get rid of, and then put some soap in it and run it through a proper wash. And that'll just help uh, from you know, getting it coming out of the wash machine and having it still stink a little bit, because that has happened to me before. So yeah, just fill it up with cold water, let it soak for a bit, and then drain it, and then run it through a proper wash. So I'm gonna fill this thing up and we'll get to the tip about the hockey skates. Everything's tucked away and ready to go, and I'm gonna talk about using the dryer after I give you the hockey skate tip. So close that up. Uh, I have a bulky large setting, so I'm just putting it on there. Uh, you can put it on delicates if you want, but I've always just used a normal or like extra heavy duty load and had no problems with it so far. Uh, so for water temperature, I usually put it on cold. And for spin speed, I'll put that on low just because it's kind of unbalanced. You don't want to really have it spinning really quick uh, just for the sake of your washing machine. Soil level, well, let's put that on high. Heavy. There we go. And uh, signal, that just means loud. So there we go. Uh, just put regular washing, like dish or whatever soap it is that you put in there, uh, laundry detergent. And you can put a little extra in there if you'd like. Maybe a little pre wash stuff in there as well. So there we go. Let's get to the hockey skates and then talk about the dryer. I've dealt with every piece of equipment except for the skate, so let's tackle that. Uh, so one problem is that some people just have really stinky feet. Uh, so the big problem comes when they start skating and they're wearing these really stinky socks that they already got stinky from working all day in uh, some stinky work boots, right? And then they play really hard for an hour and sweat all of that smell right in their skates. So you can use a fresh pair of uh, socks and you put them on before you start playing. So bring a nice clean pair of socks, put them on, skate, take them off, right? And that's going to kind of absorb some of the smell and sweat and then make sure you wash them or just throw them in the laundry hamper when you get home. Don't leave them in your hockey bag. So that's a big tip right there. So what I do is I have these really thin pairs of socks and I wear those like three or four times. I air them out right when I get home, wear them again, air them out and repeat. And then once I get really stinky, then I switch them out for a new pair. So that's another uh, thing that you can do right there. Uh, so one thing that's really important for your skates is airing them out. So like I said, don't leave like the tongue closed in like that because that's gonna not let any air in there. And when you're airing out your equipment, open that up so that air can get in there. But uh, one tip that I got from a guy who teaches power skating, he is on the ice for probably about seven or eight hours a day some days, and he, he uses the skates a lot. He said 
the only tip that he has found that actually works is pulling the insole out and letting that dry out. So you can see it's kind of nasty on the bottom. But what happens is if you pull that out, it's going to let air flow all around the insole and let air get all the way in. So if you leave the insole in, a lot of moisture can build up underneath this. And you might think that it's drying out, but you could still have a lot of moisture trapped underneath in between the insole and the bottom of the skate. So that can uh, get bacteria buildup. So if you have really stinky feet or really wet feet, let's say you sweat a lot, after each game, pull the insole out and let your skates air out. And that's gonna help your uh, stink problem a lot. And if your skates already smell a lot, um, I've tried a lot of those spray uh, lotions or whatever they are, the, the spray products to try to get the stink out and I've never found any that really worked. Uh, I find just using vinegar works all the same. So put some vinegar in a spray bottle, spray it around there, kill some of the bacteria and you can get a washcloth, pull the insole out, you can wipe that down with a washcloth and that'll kill a lot of bacteria that's around there and get a washcloth in there, wipe down the insides all around and make sure you air it out. Uh, and if you want to air that out even more, you can put a fan into it. Say you want, you need to play later on that day and they're already wet. Just put a, um, lay them down, put a fan pointing into them, it'll air them right out. So there you go. Let's go check on the hockey equipment. The hockey equipment's done in the washing machine, so I'm going to put some of it in the dryer. Not all of it, just a few things. So I'll show you what you can put in the dryer and what probably shouldn't go in there. And I actually put it through a second spin cycle just to get some of the, more of the water out of there. So a little tip for the dryer, grab two of these delicious smelling bounce sheets and toss them in there add a little extra flavor to your hot equipment. Uh, they'll actually smell good for once, right? What I like to do is get all my bulky stuff, so hockey pants, elbow pads, shin pads, and gloves, and just lay it all out to dry. And then I put a ceiling fan on it, or an oscillating fan, just point it at all the stuff to help it dry out a little bit quicker. And I don't like to put my gloves in the dryer, because I find it can really dry out the leather, and you don't want the leather pumps to get dried out or cracked or anything like that. So pull all this bulky stuff out of here, and we'll lay that out later. So there's the shin pads. See, still good for another probably 10 years, we'll see. Uh, not too wet, pretty much about as wet as after I skate. So pretty good and uh, smells just fine. So got all this bulky stuff out of there. And you can put everything that's the cloth material. So all your jerseys, towels, socks, your jock, uh, compression shorts, Under Armour, stuff like that. That can all go in the dryer and you get a, a double shot of those dryer sheets to make it smell really good. So let's get it all in there. I've got my jersey, Under Armour socks, and all that other cloth stuff in the dryer ready to go. Uh, just to be safe, I'm putting on delicates. You don't have to do that, but if you don't trust your dryer, uh, I just put it on a, a delicate setting or a lower setting so that it's not quite as hot in there. Uh, you never know if you have a really hot uh, normal setting. It could shrink uh, your underarm or something like that. So I've, I've put it on the normal setting before, but just to play it safe uh, and to give a little tip to you guys, I'll put it on delicates. So hit uh, start and ready to go. Here's the final part of this process of so just laying out all my bulky stuff on a cheap wire rack. You can pick these up anywhere. So nicely even spread out. And then I have a fan, just cheap fan, pointed at it. Leave it on there for a few hours until it's all nice and dry. Then chuck it all back in the hockey bag. And this is the final tip I have for you guys. Do not forget this little guy. I've done it so many times. Taken it out, left it on the floor of the laundry room, and forgot to put it back in my bag. And everything goes back in my bag except I forget this. So make sure that goes in your hockey bag, and probably best to take it out and put it in your hockey bag right off the start. Because you don't want to forget that little guy. So there you go. That's the process. I probably do this uh, once every few months, just whenever the stuff gets really stinky. But for the most part, just airing it out, like I showed you guys earlier, is good enough. And once it gets that bad smell, go through this process and you guys should be set. So if you guys have any tips, any products, anything that you do to keep your gear nice and clean and smelling great, let me know in the comment, set, comment section. And uh, thanks a lot for watching these videos, guys. Hope they're helping you. And don't forget to subscribe to our blog and our YouTube channel, howtohockey.com.